You are on call engineer right now. Your work life balance might be so messed. I bet like you have heard this sentence a lot of time and you know you have felt that being an on call engineer is hard. But do you really understand what goes behind the on call and what happens behind the on call? In this video, we are going to discuss all about on call. If you want to understand what on call is, just stick to the end and you know just understand it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, just make sure that you subscribe to this channel because this is the best time and because I am posting a lot of software engineering content and tutorials on this channel, you might learn something out, right? If so, just consider subscribing and liking this video. So let's get started and understand what a on-call means. Naturally, while building a product or feature, you will be referring to some spec file that is known as specific instance file of a feature or a product that you are building, right? But as an engineer, as a human, when you're coding something, there could be like, you know, sometimes you miss out of uh, some edge cases or miss out of something, uh, some checks or something that could cause some issue while running, right? But at first, you will be not able to you know, figure that out and uh, as that at first but later on it come as an on-call issue but let us stand like when talking on call on call on call on -call. i haven't told you like what what on call is so basically you have shipped your product uh, it's in production user are using it so whatever issue that comes in production while user are using it is like you know is kind of issue but there will be someone to fix it up right and primarily they are like you know on call engineers so at the name suggest on call you have, they will be available whenever you call them right so uh, in, on call engineers are the first responder to the issues or you know uh, bugs that are raised while that are faced by user when the application is running in production that could have like you know negative impact on the users or you know business there could be loss of money there could be loss of users as well right so this is very serious to understand now what happens you have a app you have a service for example uh, let's understand uh, you have an e-commerce site, right? You run an e-commerce site and your users are using your e-commerce site and shopping there. But for example, just understand that at some point of time, users are not able to add something on their on their cart, right? And this will really affect because user will not able to add anything on the cart. They will not able to shop, right? Imagine if that issue was not there, they will add their car, add their items to the cart and they'll shop and this will bring money to the business. But they are not able to add thing to a cart itself right so this is negatively impacting the users as well plus it is negatively affecting the company as well because the revenue will be not throwing because users are not shopping this could be a very potential on call bug right on call issue so what happens uh, this issue will be raised and someone will be there to look into that immediately and that someone is an on call engineer right they will just pick up that what happens next is that this will be raised and the on-call engineer will start getting notification something known as pager will start ringing and uh, the on-call engineer have to acknowledge that yes i am solving this bug i am on it and i'll solve it and then the on-call engineer start solving that and fix it eventually there could be a very hard fix or like you know very big fix there could be some simple fix as well sometimes something known as hot fix so that you know keep the you know site going up right now the thing is uh, if you are assigned an on call right you know this will be usually in the rotation for example there are five people in the team it, it will be usually in rotation one one person will take each of the week or two weeks right and rotate for example if i started today i'll be on call in one week then somebody else for another week for somebody else for another week again after five weeks the on call responsibility will come, come again back to you right there is one thing that is positive that comes out of on call being on call that is you know uh, understanding risks of the product understanding how to solve real world problem in very precise time it's it just give you ability to stand pressure of the user which stand like you know pressure of the product for keeping it running and going forward this is very really like you know great skill to have as an engineer as well you know uh, fixing issues while having a lot of pressure so 
this is one co i feel like this is one of the qualities of the engineer right and is it is it really becomes important how we react when you are getting this issue in production and users are affected and you know this you are getting a lot of pressure and this is very important how we react to that and how we solve that issues so this is this is very important i feel right this might affect there is a very negative thing this might affect your work life balance as well because this on call issue could be any time literally literally any time so you have to fix them some time like you know you are on call and you are sleeping at night at 3 am or something and pj start ringing you have to acknowledge that and fix that sometimes right but the thing is every does every bug needs fixing uh, no basically whenever the issue on call issues come or bugs come there will be ideally the severity associated with so severity is like kind of sub 0 sub 1 sub 2 sub 3 for example sub 0 bug that is stop the entire site nobody is able to access it access it or something like you know like like adding things to cart it could be a sub 0 issue where like you user are able to not able to add items to the cart so they will not able to shop that will negatively affect the business this could be a sub zero issue there are for example there are some issues like you know the button is like looking very big right this could be a not sub one issue but could this could not be a sub one or sub zero issue this could be a small issue like sub three as well like that in affecting in some way but that is not creating such huge you know loss to the company than like sub one or sub zero so there could be sub Two. There could be sub three as well. There could be sub four as well, and you know there could be corresponding like something like this. But eventually, you have to try to understand is you know uh, this box needs to be acknowledged, and you know you can solve like sub four or sub three issue later on as well, uh, a day after or something. One thing to understand is whenever you have you know teammates or uh, which who are working on a different time zone, uh, that could be a added advantage because sometimes what happens is. for the 12 hours where your day time is going on you can take on call responsibility and for other 12 hours that will be their day right they can take the on call responsibility this way division works as well sometimes and you know this could be very beneficial but it depends upon the team how they divide the on call right could be there could be like you know some team like that have 24 hour on call as well so that's become bit like you know hectic and it messes up work life balance but why it is messes of your work life balance so you would be questioning like you know this is on call issue when all on the issues come you just you know solve them but if no issues you don't have to solve them right you just sit around and chill but this doesn't happen on call is a extra added responsibility in this on call you also have your own tasks regular work that goes on right you will have your regular work plus you have to tackle on call right there it's there sometime hard to tackle whether you focus on your tasks or on call you know it's very difficult to handle because on call is priority but tasks sometime also could be priority and you know uh, it's very difficult to uh, hope you understand that right but the thing is one good thing here is some companies pay like extra for on call for example you know uh, you are on on call you will paid extra for that particular period of time you will be calculated based on that and you will be given at the end of uh, month with your salary itself so it's a added advantage you you are you are you are doing on call but you are you are doing on call and you are getting paid for that this is this is great i i feel like there could be like you know monetary benefits as well right but this is not case of all company that gives there are limited number of company that extra pay you for on call responsibility and that is i feel very the good thing but it's all depends on the company and the role you are in there are a lot of thing that happens in the back end now so once on call is done sorted you have fixed the issue the app is running now users are able to add to the cart and everything is running now fine but the thing is later on there will be something known as you know post mortem of that uh, bug like why it was and questions like why it, it came it why it 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 was not you know tackled in the first time why it is like you know while you was working on that why you were not able to identify that bug right it could be identified at the first page and solved there and only it do not have come from the users right so this kind of question will be raised and there will be something known as root cause analysis of that bug where you analyze the bug and see how can you can mitigate this kind of work in the you know future or something right so this is done with the entire team so that we know like you know where we are missing and we can improve so avoid that bugs in the production later on so this is a great thing to learn as well but there could be sometimes like you know where you feel frustrated with phone call and work life balance 
would be messed up a bit so that's it for this video i hope you have got something around on call and i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye and make sure that you subscribe to this channel because yeah tech content and i'll see you next time bye bye take care